Competition is really what drives prices down. Having two people with the same service, assuming the quality is the same, they want consumers and they want patients. And that is a good thing for healthcare. Well, I'm Jeff Skoondike, the founding member of Caring Hearts Cardiology here in Johnson City, Tennessee. Jennifer and I had our, uh, had our third child, her name was Carrie. And she unfortunately was born with congenital heart disease, if you can believe that. And one thing led to another. In 09, uh, unfortunately, she passed away from her um, heart disease. One day, I was just sitting there and I thought, you know, I, this whole thing with Carrie has, has really changed my life um, in, a, in a very good direction. And I just thought one day, how about Caring Hearts Cardiology? Since that time, I mean, the success of the practice has, I really think, been a tribute to the way we take care of patients. You know, having been on the other side of that whole healthcare thing, you know, my perspective is probably a little different. We had wanted to try to get an outpatient cath lab for a long time. And, but we knew we had done kind of our homework and we knew that obviously Tennessee is a CON law state. A CON is called a certificate of need. You have to prove that the service you want to provide is needed in your local area. And what it's kind of morphed into is a way for big healthcare to absolutely control anybody's expansion into the market, period. I didn't realize it would be as difficult as it really was. I thought, you know what, you go in there, you tell the truth, you make your case, the state sees it, and hey, if there's a need, then you demonstrate it and you meet the criteria, you get your CON. Definitely not the way it works. You have a good case and the need is there, then there's still not a very good chance you're gonna win. The overall cost for us, at least $250,000. And that's probably a conservative number, don't, and I don't quote me specifically, but I can tell you that easily it was quarter million dollars. It was supremely stressful, it was. We need a strong healthcare system. We need a strong hospital system. There needs to be room for everybody to play the game. And if the free market is allowed to progress, and if my cath lab can't cut the mustard, then it's on me. I should be given the right as a private citizen, as a private business owner, to try to help serve the patients in a way that could be better, faster, stronger, cheaper. The almost two years that I went through it, I never once thought about giving up, ever. Because I always knew, and I think my whole team always knew, we were doing this for the right reason. People think that the hardest part of my job is taking care of patients. I love my patients. If you love it, it's not work. I don't love going through a CON process. I don't love that type of stuff. It's work. And we all, I think, have proven over the years that free markets and competition are, are the best driver of quality. Whether that means you're doing a heart cath or you're making a new tire or a wheel or whatever it is you're making, if you have people who are competing in that market, quality goes up and cost goes down, period. I think the CON process in the state of Tennessee should go away. And it should be phased out relatively quickly. It doesn't have to be overnight, but I can tell you from my experience, in this region, it is not helping nor serving patients, period. If you put the patient first, and you put their interest ahead of everything else, the CON is a no-brainer to get rid of.